In today's video, I'm going to show you an example of what an AI video generator known as Pictory is going to get you. So if you're thinking of using the tool Pictory to make AI videos for YouTube, this is what you're going to get yourself into. So a lot of you guys know video automation is a huge deal right now, or YouTube automation, whatever you want to call it. Here's an example of one of my buddy's channels. And this is kind of like what you can expect the video automation process to look like. So, and a lot of times these AI generators like Pictory, what they do is they comprise video based on the script of what you input into them. And then they're going to comprise a video for you. It's absolutely fascinating. And I'm really capitalizing on this to have a lot of success and using AI video generators like Pictory. So Pictory is hands down one of my favorites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use Pictory because I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to some success because I've been testing this for like a year now with YouTube automation and how to like use video and just like how to like mainstream the whole process. And I have eight YouTube channels and they're all monetized and I'm almost making a full-time income doing this. So I'm really excited about this. So. First of all, uh, if we go to pictory.ai, again, I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description box as my affiliate uh, link. And again, guys, you know I may I may seem like I'm sold off, but this is my favorite tool for video right now. And I'm I work with them, and I absolutely believe in this tool. And I don't uh, I don't solicit stuff that I don't believe in. But that being said, my affiliate link down below is in the description, and you do get a bonus when you sign up. So uh, when what we do here is we log in. And uh, what you what how you start creating video is there's four different decisions, but for the most part, what we do is we start with the script to video, and this is where you're gonna put a you're gonna paste your script into this editor. Um, but then we gotta figure out, you know, how do we get a script for our video, and that's kind of the big issue. What a lot of people are doing is um, they're using chat GPT. So let's just go on over there, and um, I just asked it a little bit ago. I asked it, what are the best cameras for YouTubing? And it kind of gave me this output of an answer. So, and again, you're going to have to uh, figure out a way on how to get your script for your videos. Some people use regular articles. Some people, you know, you don't necessarily have to do it this way either. After this method, I'll show you how I manually do it. And I have a lot more success. All right. So here's the script and um, I'm going to copy and paste this or just copy it, I guess, from here. So copy, and then if we go back to Pictory, if we go back to there, we log in, even though I just logged in. So then we do the script to video. There's also an article to video feature. You can just paste it in there. We'll do the script. So then here's where we paste. Um, here's where we paste it. And you wanna make sure that you have line breaks for you know like the paragraphs because what's going to happen here is this ai editor or this video generator is it is it uses the text or the article or the verbiage to choose video footage to use so if we click proceed and then you choose your layout i do a 16 by 9 because we're doing long form content because that's what we if you're if you're looking to get paid long form content on YouTube is where it's at. You know, like I said, I have eight YouTube channels. The idea here is to create videos over eight minutes long because then you can run a mid-roll ad and the mid-roll ads pay like five times more than all the other ads. And you need that eight minute long video. So what we're doing here is we're just waiting for this to comprise. And what it's gonna do here is it's going to take the text from our article or our script, and then it's going to choose video footage based on that. And uh, it's done now. So this is the video footage that it has chosen. And if we preview this, um, I'm going to turn off, uh, I'm going to quick turn off the music. I'm going to back, turn off the background music. So if we click preview this, it is uh, here. Let me do one more thing. Let's change the screen duration to like three seconds and apply to all this. And this, that's just, uh, the amount of time in between video clips. So as you can see, this is our video footage. I need to click play, sorry. Every three seconds, there's going to be a change in video. And as you can see here, this is pretty watchable. I got to say that the subtitles are a little large and, um, you know, it works. Sometimes the video, the footage isn't super related to it, but what you can do is go in there and edit it all, you know, because you can change each individual block here. This is essentially an editor that you can do everything within. Honestly, guys, like this is a super powerful tool if you're not using it. Um, so what I do here is I tend to not even, you know, I, I don't, 
you know, because I've tested a lot of these generic AI generated videos. Uh, let's get into some of my tips and tricks though, because I've been doing this for a hot minute and testing. So my first tip is to, first of all, we don't need all these subtitles because what I'll do is I'll turn off all these subtitles. I'll hide the text and I'll apply to all. I feel like it's just, they're too large or a little, you know, if I wanted to manually turn on the subtitles to each of my videos, you can do that in YouTube. You can do that in the YouTube editor. It's super easy. And I just, I don't really need to do it in the editing. I feel like it takes away from that. That's my first tip. My second tip is to not use an AI voice for your video. I repeat, do not use the AI voiceover for your video because a lot of channels have been getting demonetized for this. You know, the YouTube algorithm hates the AI voiceover. So what you want to do is you just want to create the videos in Pictory, you know, create eight minute videos here. Let me, let me stop streaming this and I will show you, um, I want to show you a video that I just created on art or no, let's, let's do it like this. Let's do house plants. So as you guys can see in the background, I like house plants and I have three YouTube channels devoted to house plants. So what I'm doing here. This is the footage that I'm using in the videos that I created in Pictory. And what I do here is I, I'll, I'll reuse the same footage on multiple videos. And what I'll do is I'll just take this footage from Pictory that it gave me. And then I'll do a voiceover manually because, you know, uh, you have to get good at manually doing these voiceovers because it sounds more natural. Um, you, you just have to do it. And these mics, some people say, oh, the mics are expensive. This is a 30 or $40 mic on Amazon. And how good does it sound? It sounds amazing, right? You have to just kind of like learn the process. And what's really cool is you can do, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually add the voiceover in Pictory. So you can do everything in Pictory. You can, it sets up all the video footage for you. And, uh, it's just, it's amazing. Like you can, you can literally create everything you need to be successful in this Pictory tool. And like, I just, I'm just blown away. Let's stop this here for a second. Um, stop this remove from studio. What I want to do is I want to show you guys how I go about my process in Pictory. So this, this is kind of like the generic process that they're teaching. A lot of people are teaching. What I do here is I start from the beginning and I just click, uh, put in script. And what I'll do is I'll put one word in here as my topic. Like, let's say, how about digital marketing? Digital marketing is my topic. And then that way, it's going to comprise this whole project based on that. And this should be my topic. You can choose the layout. It really doesn't matter. I'm doing 16 by 9 because like I told you guys, if you're if you're wanting to make, be making money, it's in the long form content on YouTube, you know, like sure, uh, YouTube shorts could pay short form content pays or like affiliate marketing, but YouTube shorts doesn't pay worth crap right now. I don't know if you, um, maybe by the time you're watching this, things have changed, but YouTube promised us, uh, months ago in February that they were going to do a new payout, new payout, um, structure and it isn't paying out with crap. So it's just like, I'm still, I'm on long form content still. So then what I do is I will do my screen changes every five seconds. I'll apply to all scenes. And then uh, it only gave us one video here. So what I'll do here is I'll click, I'll, I'll just start adding B-roll um, by based on the topic I search in here. Let's just type marketing. And then what it'll do is it'll give us videos to choose from. And then I can choose these videos and I can add my B-roll in here and I can manually make my video. And I'll just, and I'll just keep adding videos here. And... Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just manually add all these videos and I'll just keep clicking visuals because that's the video effect to it. And now if I click generate, um, this just shows you, I already have a 20 second video and I'll click preview. This is our video. And screen duration to change more often. And it added background music. And all I have to do is add a voiceover, like you're seeing. All right, I'm going to pause that because I hate the audio. You can change the audio, turn off audio, and then I could change the screen duration to be like two seconds, and it's going to be a lot like you're going to have a lot more viewer retention. Let's watch this now. Because the faster you change screens, the faster your viewer retention or the higher your viewer retention is going to be. That is going to be my next tip. So, and again, guys, what I would do is just comprise videos like this and then I would manually, I would manually kind of create like a uh, do videos that help people answer questions or have like a, you know, are super entertaining one or the other.